Hello, my name is Frank Ido from Afri Design Studios. Today we shall be looking at how to do your concrete fascia and how to put roof over your building. How do you do concrete fascia? How do you put roof over your building? That shall be our topic for today. Now, from our previous class, we did how to put lighting on our building and how to put ceiling. And this is what you can this is the result of that last class. So now we want to do concrete fascia. How do we do it? You must go to project browser and open your roof level. It must be at your roof level for you to do it. So I go to my roof level here under project browser. I double click on it. As I double click on it, the whole place, my drawing area is blank. So that will make it difficult for me to continue to draw. So I have to bring the on, on, underlay of the beam level to help me to trace. So what do I do? I go to properties. When I go to properties, I select underlay. For underlay here, I click on this none. When I click on none, this arrow is going to come out. When this arrow comes out, I click on the arrow and select beam. That is the one that is under roof. I click on it. Now it is showing me the underlay. So with this now, I can work. So, to do the concrete feature, what do you do? You go to architecture, click on architecture. If it is not activated, click on it for it to get activated. Then you come here, under component, click on this arrow. Under components, click on this arrow. Then, click on model in place. Okay? Then this dialog box is going to come out. When this dialog comes out, click on OK. When you click on OK, another dialog for name will come out. You click OK again. After doing that, you come now. You now come here under forms, under forms panel. You select sweep. You are going to select sweep. Click on sweep. When you click on sweep, you now come to sketch parts. There are two options here. Is either you select sketch parts, uh, sketch parts, or you select pick parts. Okay. Pick part most times is faster, but Sketch part is more accurate and more um, more reassuring. So I normally use sketch part. It is slower though, but I enjoy using it. So I click on sketch part. So I click here. Sorry, I'm supposed to click outside. I'm supposed to start outside because this is not floor. I click here. I'm going to go around this building. I'm going to go around this building because that is the part on which my concrete fascia is going to run. As my lines, this pink line is going, is how my concrete fascia is going to be positioned. It's going to be positioned around the building. So this is the part it is going to follow. Now, as I am done with that, I come here on finish edit mode and click finish edit mode. After clicking finish edit mode, I come here under sweep panel. I select edit profile. When I select edit profile, what is this all about? It's asking me on what side of the elevation do I want to stand to edit or to model the shape of my concrete fascia. Many concrete fascias come in different shapes. It is you that will give you the shape your own is going to take. So, if I select east, it means I am standing on the eastern side to sketch or to model the particular shape that I want to give to my concrete fascia. So I select East, then I go to Open View. I click Open View. It is now going to show me this red point. Take note of this red point. This is where you must start. This red point is your starting point. If you start anywhere other than this, it cannot be able to sketch. So I click on it and move up because it's not going to come down. My concrete fascia is going to go up above my overhead course so i say 450 
I go like this, I go right, I say 450. Again, take note that your shape must not be the same with my own shape. But this is my own is just like a guide. You can give it any shape you want. You can even give it flat. Some concrete facial these days come flat. You can give it flat shape. It's up to you. So I now say 50. I press enter. Another 50. I press enter. I come down 50. I press enter. Then I press escape once. Only once. I come down here and click and move to my right. I type 50. I press enter. I go up. I type 50. I press enter. I go right. I type 50. I press enter. Then that is it. I'm still going to leave this. I'm not going to end the command yet. I'm still going to leave it like this. Then I move my cursor to this arc. I click on this arc. Still holding the um, the operation in, in action. I come here to this edge, this tip, the tip of this one. I click on it. It's going to form an arc for me. Depending on the way I move my cursor, it is going to be changing. The, the arc will be changing. So I do it little by little. I push it inside. I want it to curve inside. If you want, it to, if you want your own to curve outside, you can leave it like this. But I want mine to go inside and I move, move it inside gradually. It will give me a perfect curve. And I'll click. And you can see that my perfect curve is 300 millimeters by radius. So when I've done this, if you are the lazy type like me, you can leave it like this and go, go here and click finish mode. But if you are the type that is detailed and meticulous with your work, it will offset the thickness of the wall. Because the wall, this is your wall, your wall is here. You are Concrete fascia cannot be hanging. It is linked to your beam. So I go to offset. Click on offset. Type 225. No, 150. Because the thickness of our, our wall is 150. Then I come here and offset this to my left. Then I use this trim tool to trim it like this. Then what I'm trying to create now is the beam. The height of my beam is 300. If you are a sight man, if you always go to sight where they are doing this concrete facial, you know that there used to be a beam that is connected to the concrete facial itself. The concrete facial is not hanging like this one. This one is hanging. So you have to incorporate the beam the way it is done in the sight. So this is the beam now. This is part of the beam. But this is not how it looks like anyway. I'm going to complete the work. So I still come to arc here. Click on arc to curve the remaining balance of the arc for the concrete fascia. So I leave it like this. So I click here and delete this one. Click here and delete this one. This is how my concrete fascia shape looks like. Your own may be different from this. But always take note that after creating whatever shape you want to create, come and add the beam. This is the beam. And when you add it, remove every division because the beam and the Concrete fascia are one. If there's any line here, delete it. Leave this dotted one. This dotted one is not part of your sketch. It is a reference point. So when I'm done with this, I now click. When I'm done with this, I come here. Under material, because this my concrete fascia has to have material. In most cases, because it is, in most cases, they paint it white. Most of the concrete features are saying, comes in white color so i click here under material click on cat by category this ellipsis will come out this block this box here click on this box different types of materials will come out click inside here and type gypsum gypsum board or we'll just click in short form gyp where you click where you type gyp this um Material will come out. Gypsum wallboard. It is a white color, white material. Select it and click OK. Then you come here, click Finish. Click Finish Edit Mode again. Then click the final, for the final time, the Finish Model. Your concrete facial is in place. Then you want to view it to see how it looks like. Click on 
default 3D view. This is your concrete fascia. It went around your building. So I don't know, have we snapped 3D? Okay, let's go to 3D view and see how the thing looks like. Okay, this is the inner one. We have not snapped our exterior 3D view. Let's snap this and see how it looks like. You go here, click on this arrow, this small arrow, click on camera, then come to somewhere here and position your camera. When you position your camera here, at an angle, I always advise that you should place it at an angle to your building. Don't come and place it directly in front of your building. Then I snap. You give me something like this. I have to reduce the cropping. The cropping has to be reduced. When I reduce it, to appreciate this building, I have to go to visual style and make it realistic. Now, this is how that concrete fascia is looking on your building. The next thing we have to do is our roof. How do we put roof to this concrete fascia? So now, we have to go to Project Browser and open our roof level. I double click on roof level. Then, my concrete fascia is obstructing my view. I have to click on it and hide it for the meantime. I right click. I select by elements. I go to hide in view. I now select elements. It is hidden now. So I have to go to architecture, click on architecture. I have to go to roof, click on roof. Then I can still click on boundary line. Okay? But I want to go by peak walls. Peak walls is usually faster, like I told you. So I come here where they say over overhang. I make it. 500. Why am I making it 500? The width of my concrete feature is 450. And I usually give 5 millimeters away from my concrete feature. My, my roof will always project outside my concrete feature by 50 mm. So if my concrete feature is 450 mm, my roof eave or overhang should be 500 mm. Mm. So I come to the walls. When I place it on the wall, dash line will come out. I click. I come here, and that one will come out. I click. I come here, and that one I click. I come to this one, and that one I click. I click. I do the same to this one. I do the same to this one. I do the same to this one. Then anyone that is not connecting, I'm going to use trim to connect it. Click here, and click here. I use one to co connect. So that is the difference between using peak walls and using boundary line. When you use, when you use boundary line, you don't need to come back and start using trim, trim to trim it. When you use boundary line, you just draw at once and go your way. But this one is also, they are, they are both good. It, it depends on your choice anyway. So when I'm done with this, you can see that the thickness of my roof is 300 mm. That is too thick. I have to reduce it to 10 mm. So I click on edit type. I go to duplicate. I come here, make it 10 mm. If you can make your own 5 mm, it's even better. So I say OK. Then I go to edit, click on edit. Come here and make it 10. Then I click OK. I click OK again. Then I come here and finish it. I click outside. My roof is formed. So if I go to 3D view, default 3D view, this is my roof. But the roof is entering inside the concrete fascia. Because when we are drawing our concrete fascia, 
we drew our concrete fascia upwards. So it entered into our roof. So what do we do now? We have to move our roof above the concrete fascia. We are going to place our roof on top of the concrete fascia. How do you do that? You do that on elevation view. So I go to my south elevation. South elevation, I double click on south elevation. Now I click on the roof. You can see the extent of the roof. You can see this blue background. I go to move. Click on move. I now come here at this junction where the two lines are intersecting. I click on it. I push it over. I move. I move. I move. I come here and click. Then I click outside. My roof is positioned. So if I want to see how this thing looks like, I can put this in realistic. This is my building. Or I can go to 3D view that I snapped that time. This is the building. Now, you may see this building and say that the height is not as high as you want it. How do you raise the height or bring it down? How do you raise the height of a roof or bring the height of a roof down? You go to front elevation or any elevation for that matter. Click on the roof. Now, this particular exercise, you can do it even in 3D view. You can do it on elevation view. You can even do it on roof plan view. As far as you can highlight the roof. Now, when you click on the roof, you go to properties. Scroll down. Under dimension, you see slope. The slope is bearing 30 degrees. If you click here and make it 45. And click apply. The roof will go up. It will increase. If you come here again and make it like 15 meters. Or let me say 20. And click apply. You see it, you go flat. If you still make it 10, it will go flatter than that. So this is how to increase or reduce the height of your roof. But me, I normally use 45 because I like high roof. So you can see that as you change the roof, the roof height, the roof came down again. You still move it. Always be observant when you are walking. You still use move to move this up. Then you go to 3D view. So this is our building. You click on this and increase it. This is the building now with the concrete fascia and the roof on top of it. And this is where we'll be ending this class. Thank you, and God continue to bless you.